this video has been in the workings for literal years. Years. I am not kidding. It's like I've, I've written down this list. Uh, what was the last time I actually remember like having this list? Like maybe since like maybe since like the Pikmin One and Two like um, enemies video. I think since all the way back then, some before like tops one hundred. Uh, but yeah, this thing has been a long a long time coming, and like there's I've I've held it off for so long because I had like better ideas, better videos to do. This video probably wouldn't be that interesting, or maybe like they kind of have no reason to, for whatever reason. But now that Pikmin 3 Deluxe is a thing, I now have an actual reason to make this video and not hold it off forever and ever and ever. My favorite Pikmin 3 enemies. Now, I, again, I said I had this list for a long time now and I've already kind of established what my favorite enemies are. Um, and honestly, there isn't much to say about most of these, to be honest. That's kind of why I held it up for so long, because there's nothing much to say. But let's get, I want to get this out of the way, like right now. Tops 147, not Tops 130. Let's go! Number 5, the Skeeter Skate. Um, those things, like, they just kind of, you know, wander around the top of water, and what you need to do is throw Pikmin, most likely Blues, at it, and they get one hit KO'd. But the thing is, they move so fast, and Blue Pikmin, when thrown, aren't exactly, you know, fast so um it's really gonna matter of like timing but honestly like i don't know why but i just kind of like them uh most of i guess mostly because like they're kind of simple they're i guess cute i, I don't i won't call this cute I mean, look at that huge schnoz in these things but like i feel like they uh they're really good enemies and plus, like, when it comes to Pikmin 3 enemies, like, or even though I do like other enemies from Pikmin 1 and 2 that are currently in 3 more than, you know, Skier Skate, uh, I've also applies to a lot of enemies in this game. But for 3 specifically, I guess you can call this one one of them. Number four, the bearded amparat, the um, the little weird electric thing, um, kind of looks like a weird guinea pig thing that was like a weird beard thing, with all those hair coming out. Uh, I don't know why, but like I I, I find those like kind of interesting because like you're supposed to beat those with yellow Pikmin because this thing can like has like um can shock itself or rather it can surround itself with electricity. Uh, meaning only yellow Pikmin can get, uh, handle it, but you can actually beat this with any Pikmin. Uh, but it's just kind of more recommended to use yellows if you're, you know, not going to be strong enough to handle otherwise. But um, I don't know why, I, I, considering like it's like general attack patterns and do like uh, you know, I, there's a lot of things I like about it, and I don't know why. I just kind of like this design. It's kind of like a dog, but it's kind of like a weird like guinea pig dog thing. I don't know how, how else to describe it, but um, I, I really do. I really do like it. It's not too threatening, not too uh, challenging. I'm going to there are some challenging ones in this list. However, there are ones that I just do find like visually, you know, good. But this one, I definitely say it's visually good. Number three, the Peckish Aristocrat. Honestly, I probably wouldn't think that this would be in my favorites list. But, but then again, like, the reason why it's on this list is because this one's, like, very memorable. Even though it's not exactly a whole boss, but, like, I do find it very memorable. Uh, that just sort of design and just how it just shoots bubbles everywhere. Um, it's kind of annoying, yes. But, um, you catch, uh, the ways to beat it, though. Like, for example, like, you mostly, because you mostly find on the water, except you use blue Pikmin, but, like, the, the, the claw is, like, made of crystal, so you can break that with rocks. So, um, I would really like to, like, hold the whole bubble thing, uh, and do, like, um, I don't know, I just like the design of it. Kind of looks like, like an onion. Kind of looks like, uh, like an onion with legs. Uh, like an actual, like, onion with legs. And I don't know where its eyes are. Its eyes are the weird stalks like on the top of its head or the, the the eyes like right you know adjacent to its mouth 
I don't know. Now that because I, th I thought the longest time that the eyes are those big yellow things that are right next to his mouth, but then again, look at the, those weird stalks on top of his head. Could those be the eyes? I don't even know. All I know is it's freaking onion with a giant claw and legs. I like the design of it, I like the whole bubbles thing. It, I mean, it, it basically makes you like think, like I basically like think quickly because uh, uh, of the whole bubble thing. But I kind of like think that's uh, it's really good design, so, so to say. Number two, the, the only bot, like real boss in this list, the, the Scornet Maestro. Again, it's mostly because it's memorable. I mean, granted, like there, all the other bosses are memorable to some extent, but like the, a lot of the bosses are just really infuriating. Like the, like the really big one, like that's actually really infuriating more than anything. It takes a long time to beat, or it just like barely like takes a hit. But like for this one though, I, I kind of I kind of feel like the whole strategy behind it. Because uh, it actually controls the little bees as well, kind of like it's kind of like a uh, a weird twisted Pikmin leader, so to say. But um, it's kind of like fighting Pikmin against Pikmin, except they're bees. Uh, and I, yeah, the tech part I think is kind of memorable, uh, mostly because like uh, I don't know, because of the strategy needed. Uh, you need to prepare for all the all different strategies, not necessarily have to like wait and brute force it. I mean, yes, you do wait and brute force it later, but like there's like a specific method of wait and brute force it. it that I like for this one more than the other ones. Like like the worm or the quick and the sand or I like the really big one in the mud. I, I really hate those. But like this one I just do like. Plus like bosses don't necessarily have to be giant freaking monsters. This one's kinda tiny in comparison. So I just kinda like that. Uh, more than, you know, most of the other bosses. And finally, number one, the calcified Crush Blat. I don't know why I like it, I just do. Because it's like a giant little blob with legs, but it's like surrounded by a crystal shell. And it's uh, very, like, uh, like you have to, it's kind of in storage out, out of the way. You have to, like, get, go way out of your way to find it. Um, and I remember, like, when my first Real Pikmin 3 video, I had to go all, like, out of the way to not only deal with the crab, but also with this all in one day. And it was kind of fun, all things considered. Even though it was, like, initially quite kind of hard, but... I do feel like, um, you know, getting the reward of having to deal with it and the crap and a bunch of other things all at once in one day was kind of rewarding in its own right. Plus, kind of like, kind of like, like, the, like the fact, I like the fact that it's kind of squishy, but also very, you know, with the, the encasing there. Give you different strategies, because I have to, like, go go there with blue pick, man, we'll change your colors to, to, to rocks, then crush the crystal, and then if you have any other blue Pikmin, then you can just deal with that from there. I mean, that's kind of how I did it. And optionally, you can turn the, the rocks back to blues, but I tend not I tend to not do it because blues tend, blue usually is like the Pikmin with the, with, I have the most of anyway. So, yeah, I can just wait there with the, with the rocks that have at least 20 more free black. Black? Well, technically are like colored more black rock Pikmin. All right. That's much it for the list. If you kind of understand why that I don't really talk, I would want to like, you know talk about this list particular a lot. There's a reason why, but I got it over with. So let's go move on to a different tops later. Uh, I initially had the idea of doing my that my top Smash Ultimate music for the Fighters Pass One, but a lot of new games that I'm interested in are uh, has been announced recently. I kind of want to make an anticipated games list. I have done this for a while, so like, I figured I should probably do that. Or the one I just mentioned with the ultimate music. So one of those two will be next. See you guys later.